Okay, let's bring in Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, the top Republican on the Homeland Security Committee, who is asking the feds for more information on this suspect in Riley's murder. Senator, welcome. It's good to have you with us today. Thank you. I I'd like to begin our conversation by listening to Jason Riley, Lakin's dad. Watch. I stand before you a heartbroken man. God gave me a beautiful daughter to father, protect, provide for, and nurture. A man with an evil heart stole her life. My vision for every senator in this chamber is that you protect citizens from this illegal invasion. Please recognize over a million illegal aliens are in this state and making families nervous. Senator, why is this even an issue? If someone is here illegally and they break the law, do we really need a new law to authorize removing them? You know, you wouldn't think so. The fact that people are the normal is that we're releasing people who are here illegally committing a crime, we capture them, and then we purposely let them go. I mean, the people who are in favor of this policy, the Biden administration that allows this to happen, frankly should uh, apologize to the Riley family. Instead, we hear Biden apologizing to the illegal folks in our country who don't like to be called illegal. He apologized to people for using the term illegal, but he's not willing to apologize to the Riley family for allowing, you know, these people to be in the country who ended stunning, up murdering her, his, this man's daughter. I mean, reality. he's just so sad at every level. It, it is just absolutely tragic. Now, is the Senate going to pass this Lake and Riley bill so that we can get back to if you break the law, you will be <clears throat> removed immediately? Uh, you would think so. I think it will get unanimous Republican support, but we're one short, one vote short. I think the Democrats will be either unanimous or nearly unanimously against this. They have voted in the past that they don't care. We talked about deporting people or keeping people in jail, and there has been no concern on the other side about, you know, trying to tackle uh, people with criminal records or people who have actively yeah, it's hard, engaged in crime. It's hard to believe, Senator, given the environment in the country right now and looking at the mm. polls, that there aren't at least a few Democrat senators who look Look at their own election prospects yeah. and say, yeah, you bet I'm on board. They care more about spending money we don't have. It's really important to them to keep the trains running on time and to keep all the money being spent. Even though we're going to borrow $1.5 trillion on this spending bill, oh. that's what our spending is going to add up to, they are more concerned with shoveling the money out the door than they are with the death of this young woman and trying to prevent this from happening to other people. No, right. it's a disgrace. It is an it utter is. disgrace. You know, the, the, this paperwork story is atrocious. You know, I mean, the amount of money that people pay in their tax dollars to run the federal government and they can't, they lose track of 200,000 forms that they are supposed to be filling out in order to get people, um, you know, accounted for in this process. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.